Hi there, it's me, Alex William Smith, uh, better known to some of you as Jonathan Royal, hypnotist and magician formerly known by the name of Alex Leroy. Today it is Friday the 24th of May 2019. I'm just making this real quick video to let the world know that today I am sending via first class, signed for, guaranteed next day delivery, uh, to the courts of justice, the criminal courts of justice in London, my renewed grounds of appeal uh, to get my two fake shake, Mazama Mood, News of the World related um, convictions, hopefully overturned, and to get the truth finally known. As you will see uh, later in this video, I now have documents and evidence that show that the key evidence uh, that the CPS claimed was forensically tested by the Royal Mint. According to the Royal Mint, they've never had any such evidence uh, sent to them connected to my name um, or that case, as far as I can tell. Also, in recent months, more and more evidence has come to light of different uh, celebrities who've encountered the fake shake, who swear blind that their drinks were either spiked are drugged uh, and indeed that was also the case in the Talisa Constos Tavlos uh, trial that collapsed in 2014. You'll find that uh, we've all, I've also collected evidence that the CPS and the police uh, failed to disclose vital information to me and it appears that there is now evidence that they knew, uh, arguably knew, of Muslim Mood's lack of credibility and his long-term track record of dishonesty and links to Southern investigations uh, um, and other people who can only arguably be called criminals uh, as far back as 1997, predating my uh, case and a whole bunch of other cases. So yes, as you'll see in this video, I'm just about to print everything out, take it to the post office and get it sent off. For full details, along with documentary evidence, screenshots of everything, take a look at circusofthemind.net. That's circusofthemind.net. And if you want to contact me for media interviews, go to my website, magicalguru.com. That's M-A-G-I-C-A-L-G-U-R-U.com. My contact details are on there. I'll be more than happy to speak to you. As I say, the simple fact of the matter is, that um, Mazza Mahmood used intimidation, manipulation and fabrication as well as carefully editing audio and video files to give a distorted, completely out of context view of things as well as basically fabricating, it would appear, evidence from scratch um, and also hiding behind a journalistic protection of non-disclosure and such like and along the way also it appears that uh, Mahmood has openly admitted that he's got bent police officers in his pocket including as high as apparently in Scotland Yard um, and also has bragged about his activities has never been done for his illegal activities namely his stories in the main were not in the public interest whatever he may have said in which case he had no lawful excuse for buying items whether it be drugs counterfeit money or anything else off the people who he set up uh, entrapped manipulated and intimidated with behind the scenes threats from himself or more often from his uh, colleagues and associates everything's explained in detail at circusofthemind.net go there now so this is where it begins time to clear one's name We'll just open up the uh, document and sure enough we need three copies of this to go to the court of appeal so we'll go and set this printing a uh, number of copies three two three print and so the job of finally getting justice begins the 
The question is, how long will it take to get the result that's already taken decades? Only time will tell. So that's the last page of set three of the Grounds of Appeal. Now we need the new supporting documents that were not originally submitted uh, in 2015. So, there we have it, three sets of the grounds of appeal updated uh, as of today's date, which is the exactly Friday the 24th of May 2019, printed out fresh, folded up, and also I've just got to collate these, these are documents that have been printed, um, which I will briefly run through in a moment. Just like to interject at this point and uh, point out one thing. When the Talisa Contos Tavlos trial collapsed in July 2014, within a matter of weeks and a few months of that trial collapsing, numerous cases where Maza Mahmood was the chief principal key witness uh, because the cases were going to court based on stories that he published uh, in the Sun on Sunday or the News of the World um, collapsed because the CPS uh, no longer could rely on Mazama Mood as a witness of credibility or a witness of truth. In other words, had my case or the cases of other people such as John Alford, Herbie Hydes and various other people uh, you'll see mentioned on circusofthemind.net if they were in the pipeline to go to court uh, at the time the Talisa trial collapsed then our cases would have been scrapped and not gone to court in the same way as all the football players cases collapsed in the same way that uh, proceedings were ended for um, various other people as well, as explained on circusofthemind.net. In other words, were this to an article that appeared about me in 1998 to appear um, today, and as a result of something that Maza Mahmood had done, then, because of the Talisa trial collapsing, and that's why I was sent a disclosure pack, uh, my case would never make it to court. So surely the fact that he has been uh, jailed for conspiracy to pervert the course of justice in the Talisa case and that also now I have this evidence from the Royal Mint showing that apparently they never got sent any coins connected to my name or so it seems the case at all. So that evidence wasn't checked and that the modest operandi in my case it was practically identical to that in Talisa promises of fame and fortune, intimidation, manipulation and fabrication, uh, drinks being spiked or drugged, um, information not being disclosed to me via the police or the CPS, which arguably evidence shows that they knew of his dishonesty perhaps as far back as 1997, as was shown in the Panorama Fake Shake Exposed documentary. Look, check out the rest of this video and then please look at circusofthemind.net. Share this around. Help me to get justice, not just for myself, but also for all other victims of Rupert Murdoch's convicted and disgraced fake shake Maza Mahmood, uh, who both in the News of the World and Sun on Sunday had a track record of publishing fabricated, um, distorted lies, deception and trickery and passing it off as alleged public interest stories when there was no public interest whatsoever. Uh, obviously there's got to be justification for why there was a delay from the single judge rejecting me to me resubmitting this application and in a nutshell you see on the 17th of May 2016 I was informed by my previous representative that the single judge had rejected my appeal um, 
but you will notice that um, let that get clearer again that it was referred back to the CCR this morning CCRC this morning in other words it was sent to the CCRC before I even ever found out or was notified that the single judge had rejected me so I never got a chance and I was never advised that there was a 14 day period where I could reapply to the court and that's my justification and then it took until uh, almost the middle of 2018 for the CCRC to finally turn me down uh, which the document show they didn't consider the information properly and then obviously I've spent time doing GDPR general data protection registrar information request which has got me the documents and proof that prove the Royal Mint never checked the coins and prove from various documents that there are errors galore uh, and contradictions between what the police national computer says, between what the local Rochdale police station says, between what the Manchester court records say, between what my DBS records say, and between what the Crown Prosecution have to say. Contradictions in numbers, dates, uh, and evidence, all of which can be seen on circusofthemind.net. Okay, when I spoke to somebody at the Court of Appeal, they said that I could resubmit, reapply, but my um, grounds of appealing again with an application for extension of time limit within which to apply for leave and all that kind of stuff um, because that hasn't happened as yet. The single judge may have turned me down, but apparently within 14 days of that single judge refusal, it should have been and it would have been wise for it to have been referred back to my uh, to them uh, by my legal representative at the time and it wasn't. But they tell me that they've got the grounds of appeal on file and they've got the section 9 signed witness statements on file and the bundle that was about 500 odd pages so that all i need to submit is the renewed grounds of appeal and extension for uh, application for extension of the time limit which obviously i've got them printed and ready to go and then any documents that are new well i've managed to obtain new documents thanks to GDPR request, General Data Protection Registrar information requests uh, that I did during 2018 that got these documents together and also just to be sure I'm going to be sending them uh, copies of the try to get uh, the witness statements I've got from Roy Greenslade the journalist who's regularly in the Guardian newspaper from Miriam Jones, the journalist who worked on the Panorama Fake Shake Exposed documentary. From Florin Gashi, who was featured in the uh, Panorama documentary and used to work for and with Mahmood. Uh, Peter Jukes, who runs Byline, the online alternative news resource and is a journalist. And um, then we've also printed out the forms that I need to fill in to reapply. I've got copies of the Crown's reasoning they said for why my conviction was allegedly safe, but there's more errors in that than soft mick, as in illustrated on circusofthemind.net. And um, a document, actually, that, that's interesting. Um, this is from the... I managed to get this through Freedom of Information. That's from the 16th of May, 2016. Uh, that's when the single judge turn me down and lo and behold uh, that was telling my lawyer at the time that um, you should consider if you should give advice to the applicant whether to renew the refused application I was never told that that was an option at the time and indeed after getting advice from independent sources I've now got various emails that are printed out on file from my previous legal team showing that um, they did not advise me that was a possibility and in fact they categorically told me that it was not possible and that I would have to uh, get fresh evidence um, which unfortunately uh, I found out is not the case. So I've got all this stuff printed together, most notably I think is the fact that I've got proof that although the Crown proceeded against me on the basis that I apparently knew the coins to be fake, I thought they might be, um, but I didn't know for a fact and 
given that the Crown, on one of their documents that I managed to get via a GDPR request, which was supplied to me by the CCRC, say that they sent the coins to the Royal Mint to be checked, it's interesting to see that the Royal Mint say that they have no records relating to my name uh, or that case during this time period. And there's way more stuff regarding it all on my site, circusofthemind.net. But everything gets sent off today. So as you can see here, Friday the 17th of May 2019, I've just written this letter, an open letter to all relevant authorities regards the long-term illegal activities of journalist Maz Mahmood, aka the fake shake. 10-page letter. It will be online on my blog, clearthoughtsmentalismhypnosis.wordpress.com um, and you'll find it by following the links that you can find on circusofthemind.net to read it in detail. The key is it's going to be sent signed for delivery uh, to the Met Police, Chief Commissioner of the Met Police and as you can see both major offices of the CPS who have questions to answer the Attorney General, the Department for Cult Digital Culture, Media and Sport, the Shadow Minister for Digital Culture, Media and Sport, the Lib Dem representative for Digital Culture, Media and Sport, and Hacked Off, who help media abuse victims. As I say, if you go to circusofthemind.net, you'll find a link to my grounds of appeal, where there'll also be a link to this open letter. So for purposes of the blog, it's Friday the 17th of May 2019, just about to go to the post office, post all these off to the Met Police, CPS, Attorney General, the Department of Culture, Media and Sport, and the Shadow Minister for that, and hacked off and a whole bunch of other people that I mentioned just before this bit. And then next Friday the 24th of May 2019, I'll be sending off by a sign for next day guaranteed delivery. Well, because it's bank holiday weekend it won't arrive there until the tuesday the 28th of may my grounds of appeal renewed to the courts in london for anyone who wishes to check here is the proof of postage and all the reference numbers to the letters you just saw on the pile before That's it for now until next Friday the 24th of May when grounds of appeal will be dispatched by sign for delivery also. Finally collated, about to envelope up. I uh, got my letter to the registrar together with my form SJ renewal for extension of time and permission to appeal together with the documents that show that the Royal Mint never checked the coins and justification that my... Um, appeal was sent to the CCRC before I was even told the single judge had turned it down so I didn't have a chance and I didn't even get informed about uh, the 14 days to be able to renew to the full court uh, that's my justification of why it hasn't happened until now and then of course there's the grounds of appeal and then documents that go with that statement from me press cuttings proof of the royal mint what the single judge originally said what the CPS said but proof that I um, was sent to the CCRC without and before I was told, rather, before I was told that um, the single judge had turned me down. And then, of course, copies of the statements which support uh, my application from Mahmood's former sidekick, uh, Peter Jukes, the journalist, Marion Jones, a journalist who was involved in the Panorama Fake Shake, uh, exposed. Paddy French from um, Press Gang and Rebecca TV and Roy Greenslade, the journalist. All of this going off today, Friday 24th of May. Three sets as required to the Courts of Appeal in London. Well, there we go. It's now packaged up. Three grounds of appeal and the cover letter and forms for the registrar. All about to go to the post office right now on the morning of Friday the 24th of May 2019. Today, Friday the 24th of May, this will have been emailed to all national newspapers and relevant parties 
but it will have also been sent the previous day so it arrives today friday 24th of may via the post to the news desks of all the major national newspapers the press release reads Celebrity hypnotist appeals fake shake convictions and demands official Scotland Yard and government inquiry into Mazma Mood. New story for immediate release, 24th of May 2019, Rochdale, Greater Manchester, England. Celebrity hypnotist Jonathan Royal, who has in the past been featured in the media alongside the Spice Girls, Robert De Niro, Billy Crystal, Madonna, Princess Diana and many other famous names, is on a quest to gain justice for all victims of media abuse, lies and illegal activities. Today, Friday 24th of May, Royal, born Alex William Smith and formerly known as Alex Leroy, aged 43 of Rochdale, Greater Manchester, England, has submitted his renewed grounds of appeal to the Royal Courts of Justice in London in relation to his two fake shake Mazama Mood related convictions for alleged delivery of counterfeit coins. These two convictions which he has been advised are unsafe and of which he has always protested his innocence, resulted following a March 1998 fabricated article in the now shut down and disgraced News of the World newspaper. Following the collapse in July 2014 of the drugs trial against British pop star Talisa Contostavlos, Royal along with many other victims of the fake shake, Mazama Mood's dishonesty and illegal activities was sent a disclosure pack by the Crown Prosecution Service. Early 2015 and his appeal was submitted to the courts but unfortunately was rejected by the single judge in May 2016. His lawyers at the time then submitted the case to the Criminal Cases Review Commission, an application which the CCRC finally rejected in June 2018. Since then, Royal has been seeking legal advice and also obtaining further evidence, including documents that now illustrate that vital evidence in his case was never forensically tested despite claims by the CPS to the contrary. Indeed, he has also obtained documents that illustrate errors and inaccuracies galore in the original proceedings against him, along with strong evidence that the CPS and police failed to disclose vital evidence to him at the time of his arrest and court proceedings. All of this is covered in the renewed grounds of appeal sent by sign for delivery to the Royal Courts of Justice, which, given the bank holiday, will arrive with them on Tuesday 28th of May 2019, and a copy of which, along with supporting evidence, can be seen on his website at circusofthemind.net. It is hoped that he can now get his conviction overturned, and that doing such will then help other victims of Rupert Murdoch's fake shake to get their cases back to the court and also overturned. Further, Royal has sent letters to the Met Police, CPS, Attorney General, Minister for Digital Culture Media Sport, Shadow Minister for DCMS and other relevant parties as explained in the video accompanying this news release, demanding that an official inquiry into the dishonesty, deception and illegal methods used by Muslim Mood be conducted as a matter of urgency and also urging that Leveson Inquiry Part 2 should be reinstated. Detailed background information on these events, along with evidence, are all available on circusofthemind.net. For interview inquiries, email royal at magicalguru.com or call the number on the website. For the record, it's going to be sent to Private Eye, Sun, they'll, they'll cover it, it's a Murdoch paper, Huffington Post UK, Press Gazette, The Times, The Sun... Mail on Sunday, Sunday Mirror, uh, I Newspaper, The Telegraph, The Guardian, Daily Mail, Daily Mirror, The Daily Star, Metro, Stage and Television Today, Manchester Evening News, Rochdale Online, Rochdale Observer, Byline Times, and also to Hack Top because it'd be interesting to let their mailing list know that this is going on and get their support. Well, this is it. It's about to be sent off. The wheels of justice, fingers crossed, start to be motion in the right direction. Okay, so there we have it, the proof of postage. Most importantly, this bit here. Let's try and get it to go clear. N, J, five 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 eight one three six eight eight gb that's nj triple five eight one three six eight eight gb 
should be delivered on the 24th of May, possibly the 25th, or because of bank holiday, it could be as late as Tuesday the 28th. But in any event, it's now been sent. Well, there you go. It's now in the post. Um, as you've seen on the video just before this, that is the reference number. As it's been sent next day, delivery. Unfortunately, the Courts of Justice won't be open on a Saturday. And Monday is a bank holiday Monday. So I would expect that to be there on Tuesday, the 28th of May, 2019, before 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So any journalists seeing this, from one o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday the 28th of May 2019 you should be able to confirm that they've received renewed grounds of appeal from Alex William Smith uh, in relation to my two fake shake convictions. Um, everything's explained in detail along with illustration that the alleged counterfeit coins were apparently never forensically tested by the Royal Mint. In other words the evidence was never checked along with uh, more details on the fact that um, I was given bad legal advice at the time and that in fact I should have been covered by journalistic privilege because I could prove what uh, I was recording what I was doing and I had no legal or rather I had no illegal intent whatsoever. Everything was done in a what I believe to be legal and lawful manner and I should have been covered by journalistic uh, privilege as covered on circus of the mind.net but aside from that i most certainly should not have been subjected to the intimidation manipulation uh, splicing and editing to create a false completely out of context um portrayal of events that ultimately were fabricated manipulated and engineered by mazamamood the fake sheikh and his associates for the news of the world a man who's been jailed for conspiracy to pervert the course of justice a man who on numerous occasions in court other people have claimed they believe their drinks were spiked or drugged as do i and also um i now believe that my form may well have been hacked during the course of uh, the court proceedings uh, and when they realized that i was pleading not guilty which i did until the very first day of trial on the 1st of March uh, 1999 um, as reported on the 2nd of March 1999 by the Manchester Evening News newspaper which you can see on Circus of the Mind.net I pleaded not guilty all the way up till then uh, and only changed my plea at the last minute due to bad legal advice and also due to intimidation behind the scenes from Mahmoud's associates so really this uh, should never have reached court in the first place back in 1999 and um, well just look at circus of the mind.net it's all starting to unravel the truth is finally coming out bye for now